Welcome to Internet Lessons. In the last tutorial we looked at setting up a free email account using Gmail. In this tutorial we are going to look at how to send, reply and forward messages. So I'll move to our Google screen and click on sign in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to use RoboForm to fill in my username and password automatically. If you like the look of that, you can always look at our free tools and resources um, page on our website as internet-lessons.com to see how to get um, a trial of that. Okay, so now we click sign in and then we go to Gmail. So this is our inbox um, that's showing here with the messages we've got. And as you can see, there's three standard messages that you receive from Gmail. If you look next to the inbox, there's a number three in bold and in brackets there. That indicates how many unread messages you have. And the messages that are in the inbox are in a bolder font to indicate that they haven't been read. Right, to compose a new message, you need to click on Compose Mail. OK. This opens up a screen where we can start composing our first email message. So first of all, you type in the email address of the person that you want to send it to. Now, it needs to be completely accurate. So you need to make sure that there's no spaces in it and um, it's absolutely error free. Otherwise, it won't receive um, won't, won't get to the recipient. Right, so I've typed in the email address latestinternetlessons at gmail.com. That's who I'm sending my message to. Then in the subject, you just need to put a brief summary of what the message is about. This is really handy because if you have send a lot of emails to the same person, it means they can quickly identify which message is the one that they're looking for if they have to go back through all the messages you sent them. I have now typed in a brief message. This is a test message. And then what I'm going to need to do is click send. OK, the message has now been sent. If you want to check that it's been sent, you can click in your sent mail label here. And there should be a copy of the message in there. So there it is. Here you can see I've just received an email um, from Internet Lessons. So in order to open that message, all I need to do is click on the message and it will open. There it says, Internet Lessons to me, thanks for your message. Now if I'd like to reply to this message, all I need to do is to click on Reply. What it does, as you can see, is it automatically completes who the message is going to go to in the two box because I'm replying to their original message. And their message is shown here at the bottom. So what I type in You're welcome. And then all I need to do is click send. Alternatively, if you wanted to forward this message onto somebody else, a bit like forwarding mail really, you click on forward. And here you have the original message in the body here, but you have to put in a brand new email address. So something like joeblogs at gmail.com and that would forward the original message on to him. Now one other thing I'd like to mention here before we move on is um, you have the option if you don't want to send the message straight away you can save now and what that does is it puts it into your drafts box so then you can come back to it later or you can discard it which basically means that you can or you can send the message but in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put save now so I can show you that it puts it into the drafts folder. <laughs> 